So this is a demo job build in Drone Desk. Once we've got a client, a location, a team member, and a drone built in the system, then we're in a position to be able to create a new job. So if I click the plus on the job card, give the job a reference, select the progress. Um, in this case, it'll usually be new for a new job. Select the job type. So we've got everything from uh, training, currency and testing and Article 16 flights to commercial uh, flying for photogrammetry, uh, film and TV and everything in between. Um, if there's something that's not covered, then select other. If you need to log historic flight logs, for example, then you'll need to create a job and then log those flights against that historic job. So there's a historic option there too. So we'll just say we're going to do a roof inspection. I then select the client. I'm going to select myself as a client for this one. Uh, select the location. Select the pilot. The primary drone that's going to be used for this job. Let's say the A2S. And then select the start and end date for the job. You can view the weather at this point for the coming seven days to give you an indication as to whether or not it's going to be decent to fly. So it's looking like Thursday is good. Select the start time. The end time will auto populate to an hour hence, but obviously you can change those times if you need to. It's going to be a longer job. And then you've got some optional fields. So you can uh, select additional crew if you've got um, a need for ground crew or um, safety marshals and so on if needed. You can select a secondary drone if you're going to take a backup drone on site. So let's say we're going to take a Mini 2. You can optionally assign the job to a project at this point as well. And you can give the job an amendment version. So if you're tracking changes to a job, then you can give a amendment versions here. Um, I'll leave those blank for now. Uh, you can enter a job description. Um, up to a thousand characters, so there's plenty of space there to add uh, description. You can optionally set a Google Drive folder or a Dropbox folder. So there'll be there'll be um, folders specifically for this job. You can also, within the system, set a business level folder and a project level folder. So within a job, you get kind of three tiers of uh, external cloud folders if you need them. Then we've got uh, job contact. So if your um, job contact information is different to the client contact information, this allows you to set that there and then space for notes. So we'll save that as a new record. We've got everything uh, all good. So it's gone green. The table will scroll to that new job. Um, and then from here, I can view, edit our archive as I can with other um, records in the system. I can view log entries. I can also set the next action date for the job. I can clone a job. So this is useful if you're revisiting a job, um, say it's a construction progress job. You've been to the first job, you've planned it. Then you're going back a week or two later or a month later. Um, then you can clone that original job. It will create an exact copy of the original with today's date. So you just need to amend the dates, review the risks, and you're good to go. And then I can go into manage job and it's the manage jobs screen that contains all the information you need to manage your job end to end. So this is just a series of sections that covers everything from your uh, job details, method statement to on-site survey, um, weather forecast, no TAMs, everything is in here. Um, and all this is explained in, in separate videos. But at this point, we've got a job and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.